I played Kael'thas to level 25 five times. Here's what I learned. KT is a great hero for new players, especially if you're looking to mage. Easy to pick up and play, once mastered, you're automatically put on your local fire department's watch list. But we're not quite there yet. This guide is for wannabe arsonists. Let a pro show you how it's done. Kael'thas has a specific purpose in team fights: To punish grouped up enemies. Those who cluster together for safety will find themselves on the bad side of a barbecue. Every single ability he has can hit multiple targets. So even if you're mindlessly spamming skills, you can be a huge pain in the ass. But you're better than that. I know for a fact that my viewers have at least one brain cell. Pass it around, everyone gets a turn. Okay, Fox, how do I, a baby mage, be the best that I can be? That's easy. Clear waves, hit spells, don't die. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, okay. If you're playing a hero that can clear waves quickly, you have quite possibly the most important and easiest job to do in the game. Minions play a vital role for your team. They create space for your side by constantly smashing into walls, dismounting enemy heroes, and providing vision around them. You may be surprised to hear that the enemy minions do the same thing for the other team. Thankfully, it doesn't take much to mess with them. Yes, clearing minion waves is important, but you'll find that there's often no time to sit around and grab all the globes, so what you can do is... And keep going. If you live in the hood, you're probably used to drive-bys. They're as OP in video games as they are in real life. That said, let's look at the proper way to clear a minion wave as Kael'thas. Behold! Don't do this. No. Bad. A raw Q can hit the whole minion wave. This lets KT use his D for a free W. I know it sounds like nonsense, but stay with me. For quick minion clearing, you must press these buttons thusly. Marvelous. Early in the match, you might have to W the wave again or fire off some auto attacks, but with scaling, this combo deletes minion waves. In the team fight, you should be looking to make the enemy healer's life as miserable as possible. Kael'thas is here to keep people spread out and vulnerable, and there are a ton of healers that require grouping to be effective. Wouldn't it be a shame if the group hug got a little Spicy. How good you are at this job depends entirely on your positioning. Lots of KT players will stand too far back, fighting at max range, hitting the enemy front line. Which can work, calm down, Silvers. What I'm saying is you'll be more effective the closer you are to the fight. I know on the graph he's got a low survivability rating, but KT can play very aggressively. He can peel for himself, and even though he's a squishy squishy mage, he has the fourth highest health pool amongst them. Seriously, the only mages that have more health than Kael'thas are Asmodan, whose whole shtick is being fat, and Gul'dan, who plays with health mechanics. Wait. Tassadar has more health than Kalos? No. Well, would you look at that? Think of it this way. Yes, some heroes tend towards the tank in team fights, but everyone goes to the healer for safety. And now the healer is on fire. Let's look at the many ways KT prepares flambe. First things first. Kael'thas has two ability bars, sorta. Sipping a little demon magic will enhance the next basic ability you use. Knowing which and when ability to buff is the difference between starting a fire in your kitchen and burning down your house. Flame strike, nice and simple. Big damage in a large area. The D makes it bigger. I'll say that again. It makes it bigger. Not more damage, just a larger area. That's it. Use it to hit more things or poke just a little bit farther. Living bomb is your bread and butter. A point and click ability putting a dot on your target that explodes after three seconds. Any hero unfortunate enough to be caught by this explosion becomes a bomb themselves. This secondary explosion will not chain again, but with your D, you get two of these bad boys, and one is free. You can get real tricky with this spell. My favorite thing to do is to cast it on an enemy minion that's about to die. Depending on how aware the enemy is and how close they are to the minion, you can spread a lot of bombs quickly. People expect the bombs to come from their teammates, but in the heat of battle, it can be hard to spot one on a minion or a summon. As well, with two casts, you can stagger your bomb targets. Maybe the first one won't chain, but oh look, here's another. Surprise. This spell keeps enemies moving and separated. Gravity lapse, again, pretty straightforward. This is a skill shot that stuns the first First enemy hit for one second. Pesky minions. Empowered it will hit up to three targets. Not this time. The follow-up potential of this spell is insane. If you're good, you can also initiate, but mostly you'll be holding on to it to get people off your ass. Phoenix is a 60 second AoE ult that lasts seven seconds. Fantastic for zoning. Unlike other big area spells like Rainer's Hyperion, which seems scary but does tickle damage, you actually don't want to stand by the bird. It only attacks one target at a time, but the attacks splash, and he's pretty feisty. Look at him go. The 60 second cooldown means you won't be punished for using the spell liberally. Whether that's to siege or get a camp or finish off a hero, use it often. Between Kael'thas's two ultimates, this one is the most reliable. But this one is the most fun. I admit, in WoW's early days, I played a three-minute mage. It was a very formative gaming experience, and the sight of watching a big fuck-off fireball absolutely obliterate some poor bastard has never lost its luster. It has a long cooldown, so be discerning. Generally, you won't be casting it for its AoE effect, but it's there, and people never expect you to pyro their face 
This spell can be interrupted and can miss. It's also slow as hell, giving your target plenty of time to heal. Though, if you're in quick match and there's no healer, this spell is basically a guaranteed kill. If you're smart about it, it's not a one shot. A couple things before we go. Convection. Yeah, we gotta talk about this. It's one of your level one talent choices and it is a trap. First of all, it puts a target on your head. You don't want that. People already know how much trouble KT can be. And fires take time to grow. You're still new at this. Barely a candle. You will be snuffed out. Secondly, the reward for this quest isn't the best. You see this 200 damage and you're like, oh wow, this is great. It's almost a whole health chunk. Yeah, and that's good in the early game, but you know what's better than 200 more damage? Being able to cast the spell again. Kael'thas burns mana like hammer players burn oxygen, and two casts of a non-quest Q is more damage than one cast of a convection flame strike. Wait, well, that's nice, I'll just cast convection flame strike twice, Fox. It's more than two non-quests. Can't you do math? Fine, let's do this. KT's combo, without the stun, costs 120 mana, meaning at level 1, one, you can do it four times. Or seven flame strikes on a full tank using no other abilities. At level 20, you'll have 700 mana, so you can cast flame strike on its own 10 times, but that's not using any other abilities. And you'll be throwing out stuns, applying bombs, using your ultimate. Even if you only use flame strike and living bomb, you have just enough mana to do it almost six times. Is that enough spells for a team fight? Look, do what you want. You're free to make mistakes. When you see KT perform just fine without that stupid talent and mana addict, solve so many of your problems, you'll forget convection even exists. For reals, this talent solves so many problems. Every globe increases your mana pool, which means every globe returns more mana, eventually removing the need to care about that silly blue bar at all. On top of this, it can be activated to gain a shield, equal to the total amount of mana you can hold. This can block some nasty spells and even turn fights around. Do I really need to say how useful this is? Oh god, he's got so many talents to talk about, ah. Ignite gives you a two for one spell on your flame strike, adding another way to apply living bomb. This talent is crazy no heal games. You poke so hard and so safely, it feels like cheating. Kael'thas is one of the magiest mages that ever maged. His long range, high damage, multi target abilities spread fire and chaos among the enemy team. Mechanically simple, once mastered, his powerful kit is downright oppressive. And he's pretty cheap, too. Thanks for watching, y'all, and remember don't miss, don't tilt, don't die. Don't pick convection.